Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play... Death's Gambit. Afterlife. Shadow of the Battles. With me, Demonox. When we uh, last left off... Well, we got... We're actually exploring the Citadel. Yeah, and we've done a bit of work, we've killed some things, we've grabbed... stuff. So, we yeah, are, you know, progressing nicely, I think. But, you know, it's one of those things where you just gotta, you know, buckle down and keep on hunting. Let's do some dodging. Actually, no, we gotta go up. Whee! Uh, avoid getting hit by the flying spinny things. Don't want to get hit by those. I mean, we don't have anything else. I mean, I've hunted the rest of the place. I'm just sort of waiting a few seconds here. Before we take a quick jump up. Ta da! Ow! Some of those were close. <laughs> those were like nowhere near. But uh yay. This look at our skills, uh maps. Okay, so let's go um this way of palace will link up to the top bit. Ah, don't know those fish guys. Let's get the sigil going. And frogs! Those things are not a threat to me. I at all. One more hack. There we go. Alright, so. Outside we go. See if we can't find get the uh, ooh, one of these guys. When they blink, that's when the um get the key that's the that's the tell that they're ready to fire that magic again. So that's the only care for oh this a face. Oh, it's a Valkyrie. You can't get out. Okay, so it's going to have to battle through. Is there anything around here? No? No? Nothing around here? Okay. Uh, worthwhile checking. Okay. That thing is directly below me. Jump! Ooh, item. The Drake Knight Shield. I haven't read the other Drake things yet. Hmm. Oh, second book of Phoenix. Ho oh, ho 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 As the Phoenix ages, its curative properties of its feathers also changes. Alchemists and sorcerers have taken to experimenting with their own infusions to create dangerous elixirs and nostrums. Ooh. We've been playing with the Phoenix feathers essentially. You would need a float feather really close to there to actually you know, try to get up there in one go. So back in we go. Let's go back up the thing again. Oh, okay, you maybe got a really, you got a really big 
something like on that. I will take, take out your foot. We go about a couple of seconds before they launch again. So it's like blink, fire, maybe 10 seconds. something there, I just realized it might... There might be something there. Uh, I just realized that there's an infinite flower down there. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to go back there and check. I should go back there and check. Let's go pipe up soon. Because the only way up now is up. The only way is up, baby. This is it, the final ascent. The source of immortality lies ahead. Source of immortality lays ahead. There's a um, bit of a thing there. Source of immortality. It's pretty close. Three more like, oh, more like stones. How many justice do I have? And then I gotta actually stop and read the, read the thing now. Cause the last boss will be up here, endless. Yeah, I've only done seventy-seven percent of the map. I'm starting to think that there's more map. But we have nothing on endless. There's, however, a rest point. Which we should take. Oh, you grow stronger with each death. Yes. And it does stack up quite quickly. I mean, with some bosses, I'll die like ten times. Well, I think the Cosmic Mage is the highest total of deaths I've got. Can't upgrade them, fortunately. And I'm 10 off for me to get him upgraded. Which is a shame. Because level 9 would be very powerful. We can't even have Dream Shift. And scrap items. Nope, oh, we're finally going to read the things we found. Yep, this endless cape, this beautiful cape, expertly tailored for royalty, it's emblazoned with golden chalice and filigree against carnal red, symbolic of Alduin's blood craved carved past. Stop moving around, blindfolds you when equipped, hunters would use these while training their hone their other senses. Strength and finesse build. Hmm. Blind vitality build. The Drake Knight Helm for the strength build. The ancient helmet of a dragon knight. These elite soldiers were likely the vanguard of the forces of Vildra. Duh. Centuries ago. But what was their purpose in coming here? And the Drake Knight boots. Ancient graves of a dragon knight of Vildra has long since abandoned outfitting their warriors in full plate. Whether it's a return to traditionalism is a point of debate. But there are many yet be a contingent within their ranks that uphold the duties of the Golden Knights, whatever that may be. Ah, the golden shield that resembles the face of a dragon. Its engravings are archaic. The symbolic language of Vildredur, where the dragon kin hail from, a rough translation of it reads, Behind our face, the strength of a thousand. Only a few of these shields must exist. And with it, the sentiments of the entire tribe. Yeah. Looks like a broken carpus of a Gaian with ocean like design. I don't know what that's used for. You know what? I should actually look these up. 
I should look these up. Between recordings and that, I should look these up and uh, find out what. And find out what I use these for. Oh, of course, Gaia. And such, and I've got the other one. And all these should be, you know, used somewhere. Soren. Oh, here you again. Soon you will approach the point of no return. <sighs> and yet you still don't have what it takes. How bad do? Leave this place. Return to where you have felled powerful immortals. A new challenge awaits. You are not worthy. Prove to me you can achieve greater heights. I think later I decide to just go. I've, I do take him up on this and I do go batter the. Um, head off to go batter the immortals because I'm actually missing one that hasn't yet to be killed. And this is a Tundra King, a Tundra Lord. He is the only guy I haven't killed yet. Kosef isn't being attacked because Kosef are gaming his friends nicely. Now, before I go to Tundra Lord, I just go to somebody else to go. No, oh, wait, now I go to Tundra Lord first. Okay, better wipe these guys out. These will take a bit of punching, but ow. I'm not sure how much of how long these have been here, we can hear these things. But they are worth a few points. pointy thing to the face. Ow. Ow. <laughs> a lot of damage on the wheel. Rah. Oh look, I did it again. I'll be back. The bush's edge. So I was saying with those guys, I used to just wipe them out, but now I took a lot of damage. Uh, right, time for the rematch with Thunder Lord. They fought to reanimate him by bringing him back to the dead. On the edge, on the edge, on the edge. Hi. Ah, for this again. Hi. I can't do Wilhelm screams. I'm afraid. Ah, oh, my face is being just bludgeoned in by this dude. Dash through them, but don't do so for them. Be stupid at times. I keep 
getting hit by that. Those fights are gonna open me what pretty steadily. Ah, I was gonna punch the face by spikes. Ow. Oh, gonna do that again. Gonna start throwing the rocks again. Hey! I like falling off the edge. How much of a difference it has been since I, I last fought him, and how much more considerably more powerful I become. Because we fought him that time, and we did a pretty good job of beating him up. The boy Wesley is not that much more better than us. Send it out to hit me. But we are getting really, really powerful. Oh man. Pad of Greaves. This time do not get stabbed repeatedly by the Perishes the guy. Not that bad, to be perfectly honest. much longer Thunder Boy. We hit really stupidly hard. 
Did you notice I was doing like 200 damage a shot with this guy? A far cry from my first time fighting him when we did like barely 100. Ow, he that to the face. I went to the wrong menu. I had to pause for a second first so I could deal with something. And another bloom. I think that's actually the last bloom of the game. No more plumes remain. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I see one go through that way. Because moved. <laughs> nope. It was hard enough to kill the first time around. That's fine. We got ourselves some points. Ow. I did all that get spiked with a spike trap. But if you look, we just. Now with that guy, I think I'm going to do a level up as well after this. Yeah, my one's still 200 here. So we're going to start doing, looking at doing something else after this fight. Yeah, you just have to decide what to point up point in. I mean, if we build up. That now lets us be invulnerable in midair. During our jump, we're invulnerable. Oh, the fun stacks. I only took the stack class to get the extra buff damage to my dark damage. This thing is all literally the best thing on it. Soul Gambit? Super powerful. It can make this everything very expensive. So you need to like boost your um, amount of soul energy you get. You got that if you spent 50 points on that soul energy one, you could essentially have a have an attack, have that damage increase for that by 150 percent, one and a half times damage. You know, and that sort of would be a lot of level, low points. It would take 50 ability points for it, but. In general, the damage you could inflict would be astronomical. Yeah, haste is a not bad one to get pushed up because the faster it cools down, the uh, sooner I can deploy it. I think if I kind of change his weapon and his cloak. 
see the arm doesn't change. That would be good as well. But that's enough of my waffling and enough of my thing. So, when we come back, folks, we're going to start looking at doing something a little different. We're going to look at our first, hero our second attempt at heroics. Now that we are considerably stronger. That's all next time. So until then, until then, I'll catch you all later. See ya.